In today's episode, you will learn how to make an automatic safe distance maintaining control system for a car to avoid accidents. With the help of such control system, the car speed is automatically adjusted depending on the distance. This control system is entirely based on the Arduino ultrasonic sensor and L2918 motor driver. In this episode, I will also explain what is the safe distance and how the safe distance maintaining technology can be used in real cars. I will share with you two methods that can be used in real cars which will help you stay safe. This is the fourth version of the robot car while in the third version I used the flex sensor and the joystick together to control the same robot car. In this project the flex sensor was used as the accelerator and the joystick was used to control the car's forward, left, right and reverse movements. I named this project as a wireless hand gesture plus joystick robot car. While in the second version I used only the joystick to control the speed and movement of the robot car. The program used in this project was a little bit complex so that's why I decided to make another version of this robot and use a separate sensor for the speed controlling. So that's why I created version 3. While in the first version I used an Android cell phone to control the robot car using the SC05 Bluetooth module, the links are given in the description. Today's episode is based on my previous tutorial. In this tutorial I explained how to assemble the robot parts and how to use the L298 and motor driver to control the forward, left, right and reverse movement. In this tutorial I also explained how to control the speed of a DC motor using the pulse width modulation. If you are a beginner and you have never used the L298 and motor driver then I highly recommend you should first watch this tutorial and then you can resume from here. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. You may already know the danger of following a car too closely is a violation of the law and how frequently it causes accidents. In this episode, we will focus on how to avoid this problem. You will learn how to judge a safe following distance so that you can always maintain enough space in front of you whenever you drive. To picture this space in your mind's eyes, think of it as a space cushion as it is often called. Following distance is defined as the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you when you are both moving on the roadway. When driving, you must always be prepared for the car in front of you to stop, slow down or react to unexpected road conditions ahead. It could be that the vehicle in front of you is slowing for stop traffic in front of them or reacting to traffic signals, children, animals, etc. In the past, let's say, when your parents were learning to drive, the way that the idea of a space cushion was generally taught in driver education classes was in terms of car lengths. So for example, you would have learned that there should be roughly one full car length between you and the car in front of you for every 10 miles per hour of speed that you are traveling. So if you are traveling at 50 miles per hour, you should be 5 car lengths behind the car in front of you. Driving professionals finally realized that for most of us figuring out how many car lengths you are behind another car is really difficult. To solve this problem you will need to make an automatic system that can measure the distance between you and the car in front of you. For the distance measurement we can use the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor with Arduino can be used in different ways. For example, number one, you can make an automatic deceleration system as the distance between you and the car in front of you decreases, 
your car speed will automatically reduce to maintain the safe distance. Now implementing this technology on a real car can be really difficult without the help of skilled programmers and mechanical experts as this will require some changes in the car mechanical system. So don't try this on a real car but you can use this on a robot car to understand this concept. Number two, you can use some LEDs, let's say for every one meter of distance you can light up one LED. As a normal ultrasonic sensor is capable of measuring the distance up to five meters, it means you can use five LEDs so this way you know exactly how far you are from the car in front of you and then manually you can increase or decrease the speed. Now you can try this by yourself as it's quite safe. Number three, or you can use a buzzer that is activated when the distance between you and the car in front of you is less than five meters. This method works best in situations when you are not looking at LEDs. So method number two and three can be combined together and can be implemented in real cars without any problem. Using LEDs and buzzer is very simple, which you can do by yourself and these two methods can be used in real cars without any problems and it won't need any changes in the car control system. In this episode I will show you how to make an automatic deceleration system for a robot car just to present to you how cool it would be if this technology is implemented in every car. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in the L2918 motor driver getting started tutorial. The link is given in the description. The VCC pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. The trigger pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 4. The echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with the Arduino's pin number 3. The ground of the ultrasonic sensor is connected with the Arduino's ground. So this is the only modification. Now let's discuss the programming. The trigger and echo pins of the ultrasonic sensor are connected with pins 4 and 3 of the Arduino. These are the same pins used in all the previous versions of the robot car. I've already explained these pins in very detail. Watch my tutorial on the L2918 motor driver. Instead of function I did only one change. That is I added these two instructions. The trigger pin is set to output while the echo pin is set as the input. Then start the while loop function. Define two variables with the names duration and distance. Turns on the trigger pin for 1000 microseconds and then turn it off. Then using this formula we find the distance in inches. The type of the ultrasonic sensor I'm using is capable of measuring the distance up to 5 meters. The high range ultrasonic sensors are also available. 5 meters is equal to 196.85 inches. Let's round this value to 197. Using the MAP function, we can adjust the speed of the DC motors depending on the distance. Serial dot print and distance. This is only used for the debugging purposes. Once the programming is completed, then you can simply comment this instruction. If distance less than zero. If we get a negative value, then simply make distance equal to zero, else. If distance greater than or equal to zero, and distance less than or equal to 40, then simply turn off both the motors, else. If distance is greater than 40, then use the distance as the speed of the DC motors using the analog write function and turn on N1 and N3 to move the robot car in forward direction. This program can be downloaded from a blog page. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. In the next version, I'll use a different technology to control this robot car. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. 
see you in next episode and thanks for watching